Welcome to another video of Quantity Surveying Studio. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe for more quantity surveying related informative videos. In this video, we will look into the three different ways by which we can calculate our head office cost once an extension of time is granted for your project. So let's move into the video. These are the three formulas by which we can calculate our head office related costs once an extension of time has been granted. The Hudson formula, Emden formula and the Ekligi formula. Now let's look into each of these formulas. Hudson formula. Now this formula can be used once a percentage has been specified in your tender document and has been mentioned in your contract. So using that percentage, you can calculate your head office charges. This will be the percentage that you will be using while costing your entire project. And the same percentage can be used to calculate your head office charges for your extended period of time. So once the client or the engineer has extended your time and after negotiating with them and they agree that or they instruct that the percentage that has been mentioned in the tender document or your contract should be used for calculating the head office cost of the extended period then you can use this formula so basically the formula is head office charges percentage as per your tender document into your contract amount divided by the contract period into the extended period so let's see an example to understand this better so head office charges percentage has been given as 10 percentage in your tender document your contract amount is 1.25 million us dollars your contract period is 500 days and then your extension period has been given as 120 days so using the hudson formula when you calculate it the head office cost for 120 days will be equal to your head office charges percentage that is 10 percentage into your contract amount that is 1.25 million dollars divided by the contract period that is 500 this will give you your head office cost for one day so this into the extended period that is 120 days will give you your head office cost for 120 days so when you calculate you will be getting it around us dollars 30000 this is the head office charges that you have the right to get for this extended period of 120 days if you have used hudson formula next is emden formula this formula can be used when the percentage of the head office charges has not been mentioned anywhere in the contract or if client tells that they need to know the exact head office amount that has been incurred for this particular project so basically this formula can be used if a dedicated team is they are working in your head office for this particular project or when you don't have much project your head office doesn't have or your company doesn't have much project and exclusively working on this project so it is easy to find out the amount being spent on the head office charges or the uh, expenses that is incurred for this project from the head office so an audit will be done the client might check all the exact amounts the invoices your bills and all your expenses your copies of all your invoices and the proofs the proofs of the backups and proofs of all the expenses that has been incurred in the head office for this specific project so if you see the formula it is head office charges percentage after audit into contract amount divided by the contract period into the extended period so once you find out the total expenses after audit you'll get a, a amount and that amount divided by your total contract amount will be your head office charges percentage after the audit so once that percentage is obtained this percentage can be used so if you have x as your total amount spent in your head office and if your contract amount is y so x divided by y into 100 will be your head office percentage after the audit so this percentage can be used in Emden formula. So let's see the example. So you have worked out the head office charges after your audit as 8 percentage. So whatever amount you have spent for your head office expenses is around 8 percentage of your contract amount. Your contract amount is 1.25 million US dollars. Your contract period is 500 days. Your extended period is 120 days. So using this formula, it is similar to 
Hudson formula except that your percentage of head office charges is calculated here in Hudson formula it was already mentioned in the tender document so it will be 8 percentage into 1.25 million US dollar divided by 500 which will give you your one day's head office cost that into 120 days will give you your head office cost for 120 days so when you calculate you will be getting around 24,000 US dollars now let's move into the last formula which is the Ekleji formula. This is the formula that is mostly used in most of the projects. So here mostly your company will be having many projects at a time and your head office will be working for all these projects at a time. It will be centralized. The head office team will be working for many projects at a time. So this formula will be used. So basically in this formula first we need to find out the head office cost for that particular project. For that the formula will be the total project contract billing divided by the total company billing over contract period into the total head office cost for the contract period. So you will be calculating your total project billing that you have done during your contract period and also you will be, calcula you will be calculating your total company billing that is there might be five or six projects so to overall what amount of billing you have done during that contract period of your particular project for which you are finding out the head office cost into the total head office cost for that period that is total expenses of your head office charges that is being incurred. So once that is found out you will get the, your head office cost for that particular project. So once you find out that particular head office cost for that particular project you can find your daily head office cost for that project by dividing that head office cost by the co project contract period. So once you find out the daily head office cost for project that is cost per day, this into your extended period can give you your head office cost for the extended period. So we'll go into an example to make it more clear. So here your contract period of your project is 500 days, your extended period is 120 days. Now your total company, now your total project building is 1.25 million US dollars and your total company building over that contract period of 500 days has been 22.5 million US dollars and your total head office expenses spent the, during that 500 days is for 50,000 US dollars. So first you will need to find out the head office cost for the project. So that will be your uh, project building divided by your total company billing into the total head office cost. So 1.25 million US dollars divided by 22.5 US dollars into 450,000 which will give you US dollars 25,000. So this is your head office cost for that particular project for that contract period. So this divided by your contract period that is to 25,000 divided by 500 will give you your daily head office cost. So US dollars 50 is your per day head office charges for your project. So this into your 120 days that is your extended period will give you your head office cost for that 120 days for which your project has been granted an extension. So that will come around US dollars 6000. So I hope uh, this is clear and you've got an idea of how you can calculate your head office cost using different formulas and if you have any doubts or any clarification do let me know in the comment section please do subscribe for more quantity surveying related videos until the next video keep learning stay safe take care and have a good day bye